Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're going to do a little keto uh, crustless pizza. Uh, it's frying pan pizza. Looked good to me. I uh, hope it looks good to you guys. And uh, if it does, uh, hope you try it. But uh, yeah, let them uh, get to cooking. So let's get to do it. All right, y'all. This is a fairly simple recipe. Um, just start out. Get your frying pan ready there. Um, I've got mine on a little bit higher than a uh, medium heat. So you just want to. This is what the instruction said to do. Just uh, put you a nice, you know, thin layer of cheese in the bottom of your frying pan. And this is what's going to make the crust. We're gonna, that's gonna melt and get kind of crispy. And you can use any toppings you want. I've got a pretty interesting set of toppings, I think, uh, should be pretty good. So, all right, get us a nice little thin layer like that in the bottom. All right, now, uh, they said, do you want to take some? Italian seasoning or some oregano and some basil. That's what I got. Um, just put a little sprinkle on the bottom. That's going to give us a little bit of a little bit of Italian flavoring. I got a little bit of basil here. They also said to put a little bit of garlic powder or fresh fresh minced garlic. Um, I'm going to use garlic powder. I've just got a little bit left, so so all right. There's that. Now we're going to just let it let it kind of start melting. So uh, well, I guess you know. It'll start melting. Yep, yeah, it's already starting to melt there a little bit. So, all right, next, I'm going to put some, these are fire roasted tomato. Um, this has the chilies in it. Because, um, you know, it's just going to give it a little bit of spice. Get that in there to where it looks pretty, pretty decently evenly. So, all right, got that. We got some chopped white onion. All right. Now I got some mushroom. Sprinkle a little bit of mushroom in there. A little bit right there in the middle. Alright, now, I'm going to put some bacon in mine, because, you know, I want bacon. And this is the pre-cooked real bacon stuff. You can fry your own bacon up if you want. Me, I just like the convenience of the real bacon stuff here, so. Alright, now, you can't have pizza without pepperoni. So, we, bought, we got some of the little mini mini pepperonis so. alright get that sucker up in there you can see it's already starting to melt around the edges so. alright there we go and then I said to take just a a little sprinkling of cheese across the top. That's more for fancy stuff here, but you know. All right. Now we just gotta wait and let that cheese on the bottom get all good and melty and start crisping up, and uh, it's done. So, all right. Uh, I'm gonna find my lid 
and put it over there, kind of let it cook, and uh, we'll bring you all back when it's all cooked up. All right, y'all, we're getting close. It's getting a little brown around the edges. That's kind of what you want. So, I love these ceramic pans. Nothing sticks to them. So, get that little pepperoni back up in there. So, yeah, we're going to let her get a little bit more brown. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to take a little bit of grated Parmesan. Uh, the cheese I used on the bottom was an Italian style blend. So, we're just going to put a little bit of this on the top. Yeah, she's starting to get good and good and done, y'all. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right, I'm gonna shut the heat off here. Let her cook just for a couple more seconds, and we're gonna pop her out here on the uh, cutting board. And they said to cut it right away, so. If I can sneak underneath of here and see. Oh yeah, that bottom is nice and brown. So there we go. Got that out of there. Get our get our pizza cutter. Oh, I can hear it crack cracking there, y'all. Or crunching. We're gonna cut her into some nice small pieces. Kind of separate them so they don't stick back together. Mmm, smelling delicious, y'all. All right. So, all right. Uh, they said to let it set for a few, kind of stiffen up and uh, crunch up so we're gonna do that and then uh, we'll do the taste test 